guys, I take up a week new machine how to jailbreak your iPhone 4S or iPad 2 on a Windows computer. Uh, my previous tutorial was on a Mac computer, and I actually realized that it's a little bit different on Windows. Apparently, you have to do some extracting or something that I didn't know of. Um, and what I did was I just posted the link uh, for the download in my uh, Mac tutorial. I posted the link in the description for Windows also. But some of you may be confused if you're using Windows because there were some more things you had to do. Um, so to get the program, I'll probably put the link right in the description for um, for the Windows uh, Absinthe program uh, or the Green Poison website. Either one of those I'll put in the description. And you can just go ahead and go to the Green Poison site or get the download link right in the description. And um, yes, yeah, so it does look like this will be a zip file. Uh, so let's see what we have to do once this finishes up downloading. And actually, while this is finished up downloading, I'm going to cover some things. Um, this will work for the iPhone 4S running 5.0 or 5.0.1. Um, and for 5.0.1, that's build number 9A406 or 9A405. Um, 9A406 was released just a little bit after 9A405. Um, there were some problems with, uh, I think, the SIM card. Some people were having problems with that. And that's why they released 9A406 to fix that. Um, but anyway, if you're going to be unlocking your iPhone 4S, you're going to want to stay on 5.0 and do not upgrade to 5.0.1 uh, because the unlock that will be coming out in the future will be for 5.0, oh, not 5.0.1. For the iPad 2, uh, the jailbreak will work for 5.0.1 only, not 5.0, um, and that will be for build number 98405, which is the only build number for 5.0.1 uh, for the iPad 2. But this will work for every version of the iPad 2, um, meaning it will work for the, the Wi-Fi model and also work for the, uh, the 3G, which is the GSM or CDMA model. So either one of those, um, it'll work for pretty much every version of the iPad. And uh, the last thing I want to say is this will not work for any device besides the iPhone 4 or the iPad 2. Uh, this is built strictly for only those programs. If you would like to, to jailbreak any device that's not the iPhone 4 or iPad 2 on iOS 5, um, I'll put an annotation or something right about now, and you can click on that, and that'll take you to my Red Snow tutorial, and you'll be able to jailbreak your iDevice uh, using that program instead. Um, there's also, I want to cover this topic really quickly, there's something called a CLI jailbreak. Uh, for Windows that was released um, right before Absinthe was released for Windows and that I believe it stands for command line interface um, this one's a GUI which is the graphic user interface uh, so this one's a lot easier it's a one it's a uh, one click jailbreak pretty much uh, so you just have to click um, jailbreak and then it'll start jailbreaking uh, but the command line interface jailbreak uh, that one's a lot more difficult you have to use terminal on your computer um, and that's if you guys don't know what that is, you're probably not going to want to bother with this jailbreak. But basically, you have to enter all these commands uh, manually, and uh, it's just a lot more complicated. Well, it's it's kind of simple, but it's more comp it's a lot more complicated than what Absinthe is. So I definitely recommend uh, doing Absinthe rather than the CLI tool. So this has finished downloading now, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this program. I believe it should be on downloads. Yep. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and drag this onto my desktop. Uh, we can go ahead and exit out of Google Chrome. We'll just double click that. And okay, so this is someone told me about. I just figured this out. You, they said you have to extract the Absinthe uh, program itself and the data folder. So let's go ahead and move those to the desktop. Now I'm not sure if you do this or not, but that's what I've heard. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So that's finishing copying. There we go. Uh, now let's see what's in this data folder. Um, so. Basically, I, I don't, I'm not sure if you to extract it or not. I think as long as you open it from inside here, it should work. Um, but as long as this data folder is in the same location as Absent Program, it should work perfectly fine because the data folder, only thing that is, is just it just contains some information for uh, the jailbreak. Uh, so we shouldn't have to. Um, as long as they're in the same location, it should be fine. So I don't think you have to extract that, but you might. Uh, but anyway, uh, just make sure you have them both on the same location. Uh, so you can go ahead and run this as administrator. Yes. So now here's the program Absinthe. Uh, we I'm actually I'm actually gonna run the jailbreak because I already jailbroke my iPhone 4s and I don't want to have to restore or whatever. I'm not sure how it's gonna work if I apply the jailbreak right over it. Uh, but I'm not gonna bother doing that because I don't want to lose any of my stuff. But I can guarantee that this does work. Um, so here's my 4s right now. That's obviously not a stock iPhone as you can tell, but this is a 4s. I can guarantee you that. Here's Siri. How are this? How are the Apple stocks? So um, you can see Siri is working uh, just fine. Apple closed up today, four hundred twenty-seven dollars and forty-one cents. So you can see Apple stocks are work working uh, perfectly fine, um, and it's definitely jailbroken. Obviously, I'll go ahead and unlock it for you guys, just to show you that. So this is obviously not a stock iPhone. Here's Cydia right here. Go ahead and load that up, and this is the best way to prove it to you guys.
right in Cydia. Um, at the bottom here, it says, it says focus up iPhone 4S running iOS 5.0.1. So that it is a legit jailbreak, guys. You can trust me on that. And for the rest of this video, I'm just going to explain how this will work now. So basically, you're just going to plug in your iPhone 4S or iPad 2. So you're going to you're, you're going to want to make sure you don't have a passcode set on your iPhone 4S or your iPad 2 while you're jailbreaking. So you're going to go to settings, general, and uh, passcode lock. So mine says it's on right now, but you guys just go ahead and turn it off. Um, I'm not exactly sure why you need to have the passcode um, off, but you do. If you uh, have it on and you plug it into your computer with absinthe running, it'll say uh, you need to turn off um, the passcode. It'll give you an error and say that. Uh, so make sure you have that off, and then you're just going to simply hit jailbreak. You don't have to enter DFU mode or anything like that, uh, like you do with Red Snow. You just hit jailbreak, and be patient. It may take a while, depending on how much stuff you have on your iPhone or whatever you're, you're jailbreaking. Um, so just be patient. If it gets stuck, just keep being patient. Um, if it comes to an exceeding long time, then you may want to uh, restart the program or try that again. Uh, but once it finishes up, uh, you're gonna, on your device, you'll have, um, on your last page of your icons or whatever, you'll have um, a little icon that says Absinthe, and it'll look exactly like the uh, how the icon looks on your computer. Here's Absinthe right here. It'll look exactly like that. So it'll be on your iPhone or whatever you have. You're going to click on that, and I'm not sure. Um, when I first jailbroke the first time, uh, the website Green Poison was down and everything wasn't working. So just open up Absinthe, and then it'll, it'll explain it, or it'll just do something. Whatever it does, it'll you'll be able to figure it out. Uh, so just open that up. And um, it'll install Cydia for you, and it should reboot right after that. So whatever, when you open up Absinthe icon on your iPhone uh, after being jailbroken, you're going to want to, you're going to follow what it says in there, or it'll just do whatever it needs to do and then reboot. Um, if it does not work for some reason or it's not doing anything, go into your settings application, and I'll show you this really quickly on my iPhone. You're going to go into your settings, and underneath Wi-Fi, it'll say uh, VPN, and you're going to want to switch VPN to on. And then it'll give you an error and say something. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not sure what it says, but it gives you an error. And you're just gonna go ahead and uh, hit OK, and then reboot right after that. And then when it comes back, Absinthe, wherever Absinthe was on your iPhone, it'll have uh, Cydia instead of Absinthe. So that is basically it. Once you get that running, everything will be fine. Um, and if you don't believe me for some reason that this is not a legit jailbreak, go go ahead and check out my um, a Mac tutorial, and that'll prove it to you guys. Uh, but it's legit. I showed you guys Cydia running on it. Uh, you don't have to worry about any of that. And that's it for this tutorial, guys. I hope you uh, don't have any problems while jailbreaking. Uh, but if you do happen to come across a problem, go ahead and comment down below, and I'll respond to you uh, shortly and help you out with your problem and uh, get your iDevice jailbroken. So that pretty much concludes this video. Um, one last thing I want to say is uh, I'm sure all the developers, uh, they got all of them listed right here. Um, I'm sure they'd appreciate you guys to uh, go ahead and donate to them. Uh, so you can just donate by clicking uh, PayPal right here in the program. Uh, so they definitely... But they definitely deserve donations, guys. Uh, they have put in tons of work into this jailbreak, and they definitely deserve it. Uh, and the final thing I want to say is, um, switching back over here, something called Tiny Umbrella. I just want to warn you guys and tell you to um, save your SHSH files. So using Tiny Umbrella, you can save your SHSH files, um, and that is just in case you want to save one for 5.0.1. That's in case Apple releases future um, softwares. Uh, that you you'll be able to downgrade to 5.0.1 and always be able to have your device jailbroken. So make sure you uh, get Tiny Umbrella. Um, I'll put that link in the description also, and uh, just make sure you just click Save SHSH uh, when you have it downloaded to your computer, and it'll just save them all. So here's all the ones that you can save and everything. So just make sure you do that, and that way you'll always be able to downgrade to that software that you have saved. So that basic that's basically it. Um, I just wanted to cover that last thing really quickly and make sure you guys get those saved. But that's pretty much it. Um, I would appreciate a like uh, down below, guys. It helps me out. Um, also, subscribe top to be notified when I release my new videos uh, here to come in the future. Um, I heard that they're integrating this jailbreak into Red Snow, so I'll probably have a tutorial on that. In case you guys are more familiar with Red Snow and you want to do that, um, Red Snow is a lot faster than this jailbreak. Uh, so if you know how Red Snow works, you may want to do that instead. But I, swear, I heard they're integrated into that, so I'll, I'll release some videos on that, and I'll also be releasing videos on other tech stuff going on. I'll have reviews and unboxings and stuff like that, um, along with some uh, tweak reviews and stuff like that. So if you guys subscribe top, you'll get all that content and be notified when I release that. You can also follow me on Twitter for tech updates. Um, my Twitter username is week, the same as my YouTube username. And that is pretty much it, guys. I'll catch you in the next video. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day, and I'll see you later.